in this scribble review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Scribble. Scribble lets you create amazing ebooks and reports in five minutes without typing any words at all. Once we log into Scribble, we come over here to the dashboard. We're then greeted by a product video which goes through the various products, as it's not just Scribble that's available. But today we're just going to have a look at Scribble. So first I'm going to go on Start Scribbling, and this takes us over to the Templates page. Here we have an array of templates to choose from. If we were looking for something specific, we could go on search and we can also filter it by category. So we could choose from all, arts and entertainment, betting and trading systems, business, computers, e-business, education, fiction, games, home, languages, and mobile and smart devices. So I'm gonna go for make money online. You do have the options of just viewing it or you can go straight ahead and use it. So I'm going to click on use. Here we can enter our project name. So I've just gone for how to make money from YouTube. Then I'm going to go ahead and go on create your ebook. And this takes us over to the template page. If we hover over this, we can see we've got the cover there. We've got the headline, author name. We've got the table of contents and we can edit all of these. So if I first change the headline, we have an array of settings here as well. If I wanted to change the text, I could put it in bold, italic underline, we could align it to the left, central, to the right, or justify. We could also set the text color, set whichever color you want. I'm just gonna leave it on black. You can also set the background color, and that will keep it sort of highlighted. We can also insert or edit a link, remove link, or we have the settings options where we have an array of different features. We can set the element name, element ID, arrange or reorder, Set the margin at the top, set whereabouts we want it to sit, set how it's displayed, the font size, the width, the height. We can add an icon, we can set the font type, the font weight, so you can make it bold, or italic, and set the corners, the background color, text color, and then we've got some of the options there, what came up when we highlighted it. As well as this, we can also move to another page. Again, bring up the advanced settings, which are here. We can clone the element, convert the element to a paragraph, move the element or delete the element. Of course, we can do the same things for anything that we can select. If we look at the top here, we have a few different options. We've obviously got settings, where we have settings for each section. So we have headers and footers, where we could ask it to display the headers and footers, which it's currently on yes. We have display footers, number and label, and display option, where it could show the page number on the right, or on the left, we have generate table of content, and this will automatically generate some table of contents names. We also have shortcut keys, and then a dark theme. Where we can select that at no, or yes. Next to settings, we have pages. If we click on there, we can obviously hover through all the different pages. Say if I clicked on page one, then we've got those same settings where we've got element name, element ID, arrange reorder, etc. You can also view the specific page, clone it, or delete it. Next to pages, we have elements. As we can see, this shows us all the elements for each page. So on table of contents, we can see we've got loads of different elements. And again, we've got the same settings of view, clone, or delete. Next to elements, we have the colorizer. Here is where we could set our color theme. So with the colorizer, it will change the color theme from the cover onwards. So if we look here, if I went for Kickstarter or Red Sunset, we can see that that's changing and it changes for all the pages below. Next to Colorizer, we have Grids, where we can select if they're light or dark. We can add narrow, wide, both, or just completely remove the grids. And then finally next to there, we have Add Content. So if I click on there, as we can see, this brings up loads of different article categories. For internet marketing, we have loads of different articles and we can preview them or select them. So if I went for how to start making money with AdSense, I could first preview that. And that'll take us over to another page. And as we can see, it's got the full article there. It's also got the word count and the category it's in. And then if I wanted to go for that, I could go for add content. It's worth noting as well, next to start from article collection, we also have copy and paste text. 
where we could sort of type our own or we could copy it from one of the articles. Obviously, that takes us to another page. So we could say copy a paragraph, paste it into there and put our own mark onto it. You can also upload a word or text file or grab from a specific URL. So I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to go on add content. And if we scroll down, we can see it's done it on this section here. How to start making money with AdSense. Now you can add as much content as you want and obviously you can change around the pages and customize this to your liking. You do have some sidebar options as well where you could move a page up or down, bring up the advanced settings for the page, clone it or delete that specific page. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this ebook and then you have the options of viewing it online or downloading as a PDF. I'm just going to view online and this takes us over to Adobe Acrobat where we can scroll through the pages and that's generated a full ebook. Now obviously the goal here is for it to generate as much content as you want and you would customize this to your liking. So in reality, it would be a lot longer than mine. You also have the option of publishing it or saving it. And as we can see on the project section, and as we can see on the project section, our ebook displays here. As I've just saved mine, we have the option to edit it, delete it, view it, rename it, or download it, as well as cloning it with the freehand editor. If you have multiple projects, you can search for them in the search box, or also click on new project to create a new one. Next to projects is the template section where we were earlier. We then have packs, where we have a gallery of all different packs. We've got coloring pack, journals and planners, and 3D puzzles and coloring. We then have Fantasia 3D, where we can search for 3D covers, or even flip books. As we can see, we've got loads of different flip books there. There's then the prime option. We then have the prime template gallery. We then have job finder where you can apply for client work. And then we have Scrindle, send Bible, submitter and taught Bible, which take you to a different page. As well as this, we also have clients where you could create a new client and add them to here. If you had multiple, you could search for them. As we can see, it's filtered by name, email, contact info, price, shared count, and actions. And then as well as this, we also have training where there's loads of different tutorials for Scribble. And that's pretty much everything. So what are my thoughts on Scribble? Scribble was a brilliant application for creating eBooks, and there was a whole range of different customization options. Having the ability to add in pieces of various different articles is fantastic. I have no doubts at all that you could create a full ebook packed with information, whilst also designing it the way you always imagined. I would definitely recommend Scribble. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.